this month we're building Annabelle's invention. It's a hat for dogs that generates electricity. Kids invent stuff. So last month's challenge was all about electricity and Annabelle's invention idea is a hat for dogs that generates electricity and we loved it. We thought we'd take that challenge and see how much electricity can a hat for dogs actually generate. <laughs> So to bring to life Annabelle's invention, we're going to need a dog and a hat that the dog can wear that can create electricity. We're thinking about using a solar panel that we can mount on top of the hat and a combination of a magnet and a copper wire that when the magnet moves can make electricity. So no one's ever made a hat for dogs that generates electricity. So we thought we'd best start with a dog, here's our friend Tarquin, and a hat inspired by our favourite film. We then thought, how can we make the hat generate electricity? So we've got a solar panel, which we think we can attach to the top of the hat. And then we're going to try and capture some of the dog's movement by using a really strong magnet and some copper wire to generate electricity. And we're going to capture anything that we make in this battery. So the first job is to make sure that the hat actually fits on Tarquin's head. So we need to cut some holes so the dog's ears can pass through the hat and it'll help keep it on his head. So we've attached our solar panels to the top of our hat. Now solar panels capture light energy from the sun and using special layers of silicon it converts that energy into electricity that we can use. So as well as the solar panel on top of the dog's hat we thought it'd be really cool to see if we could capture some of the dog's movement to use that to create some electricity. So we've got this magnet that's going to go inside a length of pipe and when you move a magnet inside a pipe and you have some copper wire wrapped around that pipe, it actually creates a small amount of electricity every time the magnet passes by that copper coil. So we thought we might use that and strap our pipe onto the dog's hat so when a dog runs around, the magnet can move inside the pipe and create some electricity to give us a little boost of power. So to help our magnet bounce around inside our tube, we've got these thin little extra magnets that we're going to put on each end of the tube and we're going to position them so that they repel the magnet inside the tube. So that the magnet is pushed away when it comes close to each of these little magnets. And we're going to cut some little discs using the laser cutter so that we can sandwich these in and securely hold them at the end of the tube. So to make our dog hat even better, we're going to install a few devices so we can use a little bit of the electricity we're generating. So we're going to put in a little circuit so we can charge a phone from the dog hat and we're going to put in a little Bluetooth speaker system. So we're going to mount a speaker on the front so as the dog is running around we can play a few tunes. Time. Ruth, what are you doing? So we've just soldered in this little LED and we've attached it to our little magnet generator to see if it will actually generate any electricity before we wire it into a proper circuit. So we've got to give it a shake and see if it works. See if it works, see if this will light up. Yay! It works, generates something. I'm not sure how much, but it generates something. So 
we've got our solar panel attached to the top of our hat and inside we've got a circuit and that allows us to collect the energy from the sun and store it in our battery. And then on either side we've got our magnet generators and these are attached to two little circuits that we've made up which also allowed any of the energy that's captured by the movement of the dog to be stored in our battery. Now that should hopefully power um, our little Bluetooth speaker at the front and also allow us to charge things on our charging point. Now all that we've got to do now is to add some padding so this hat is actually comfortable for a dog to wear. So we finished building the world's first hat for dogs that generates electricity. And Tarquin is modelling it beautifully. A massive thank you to the Ogden Trust for supporting this challenge and helping us bring to life this crazy invention. And a massive thank you to Annabelle for her incredible invention idea. We've had so much fun building this. And all that's left to do now is to test the hat with a real dog next episode. So see you next week. Bye! Bye. Kids invent stuff. You can see some of the crazy stuff we've built here and subscribe to our channel here.